Gino from Big Easy Brides. You know what pisses me off sometimes when I'm watching TV and I see these bunch of ignoramus from the swamp lands or whatever. They call it the swamp people. Like a bunch of fuckers, you know, especially one idiot in the world. Do it, do it, do it, do it! Do it, do it, do it, do it! Do it! You know, them people, they never pursued an acting career, never pursued an entertainment career, never did anything with entertainment. They're a bunch of ignoramus, they just make their living, just hunting alligators, among other little wild creatures in the swamp, whatever they do, I don't care, I don't give a shit. But they do that, and the next thing, you know, some people, producers, and whoever, and why not, pick them up from whatever they're at, from ignorama land, put them in TV land, making millions of dollars, and them fuckers making millions of dollars too with merchandising all over the place. Color nice t-shirts, hats, you name it. They get the big push. Then you see other TV reality shows are just full of crap. So fake, I just make me feel like I'm even real 100%. Then, you have a show on TV where 4.1 in the, ra in the ratings of 10, that's pretty good, called Big Easy Rides. Very minimal advertisement, I and mean, we made it. We surpassed Price Hill in the ratings. Price Hill has only had, <laughs> Price Hill has only had a 3.5, maybe 3.7 at most on the ratings. Well, Big Easy Rides on the average, 4.1 on the average. Anybody would come on sense of the you know, small forehead, like two fingers. What is that? Whoa, I'm making money with this, so I might as well push it. We might, might as well just keep up the contract and put this guy on TV, You're like Jay Leno, David Letterman, and whoever, whoever, whatever. But they never, never did that. Never. Instead, they used like clowns around, like jabronis, made their money, paid us a little change. Then we agreed because, hey, or, whoa. First time on big time TV, I guess we kind of just bite the bullet this time. And then in the next season, they said we'll increase the payment. Well, all right, that sounds good. Yeah. We can work with that. And of course, the merchandising now is ro royalties we get out of that. Right. Sea jewels and royalties. And some more money in the, in the, in the mix. Yeah, I love that. I love that. Yeah. Lies through the main, main brain, from the main ring, from the very beginning, from the get go, lies. That's all right. Karma is a bitch. And they're gonna have what they deserve. In the meantime, we all have moved on with our own businesses and our careers and doing what it takes to make it big. We don't need Bishop Herbie Entertainment to make it. It's gonna be one day, they're gonna be big. Oh, guys, remember us? <laughs> you know, son? That'd be quite interesting if I get out and they got my. I'll probably come out of retirement. I gotta come out of retirement. For this one, I challenge Jason and Eric to a handicap match. If I win, I get a TNA contract, a five year deal. Well, I'm gonna say, what number do you think I got? I guess a five million will do fine. You know, five years, one million a year will do fine. Yeah, that's it. Five million dollars contract, yeah. Five years. That's one million a year. No matter what, the contract lasts five years if I win the match. But if I lose the match, then I'll be the limo driver for five years. I didn't think take the time, so they even watch this video or whatever, but that's a fault. In the meantime, we're all moving along with our own little projects in there. Still in the movies, still doing shows here and there. And Wendy, of course, still busy as usual doing her shows. So. Reverend Tony still, uh, Reverend Tony and Miss, Mrs. Luan still doing their wedding business, despite the fact that thanks to the way they edited this show and the way they're presenting the product, it looked like a bunch of Wackos and drunks and druggies were just the only clients these people ever focused on. 
So they lost clients. They didn't do any good with that. They lost money. Then Dana, of course, with the hopes of maybe helping her singing career, this could. And Mia, of course, same thing. And Maria with her, you know, career and such, we all thought, hey, this could be a catapult. This could be a little, you know, a big break for all of us. And it never was. Anyway, just a little girl. A little brush. That was it. That was it. All right, this is Gina Oliver and out. That's how